Hey guys, welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make an AFK command with the time ago feature. So basically, um, the time ago feature is it tells you when the user actually makes the AFK command. So it will make sense in a few minutes when I start the video. So to start this video, I'm just going to show you guys the module that we're going to use to make this feature. Alright, so this is the module that we're going to use to create that feature. We're going to save the timestamp to a collection and then we're going to use the um, from now feature, the function, to get the like in two hours, an hour ago, a day ago, something like this. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to just open Visual Studio Code right up and yeah. Okay, so in your project directory, you should see all these um, f folders. So the folder that you're going to need is a collection folder. If you don't have one, just create one. Okay, and then in there, you're just going to put an index.js in it. Okay, so in your index.js, this is my previous file. Okay, let's let's just um, ignore that. So just create, it and create a collection file if, folder if you don't have one, and create an index.js in it. So in here, first, we're going to require collection from discord.js. Require discord.js. We're going to require the collection. Okay. And then, um, if you have server row, um, you can just place inside the module.exports. You can export an object. So for now, um, I'm just going to create a new collection, which is cons afk equals um, new collection. Okay, and then I'm just going to do module.exports equals afk. Okay, so if you have several collections, like something like this, like um, blacklist, as you see earlier, blacklist, you can just pass it in, in here, and I can require it later on. But for this video, I'm just going to use one, which is afk. Okay, so I can delete off this. Alright, so we will now create a file in the utils or i can just create it okay i'm just going to create it in utils i'm just going to name this afk.js i'm going to initiate the code with my snippet if you don't know what this is it's a vs code snippet i already made a video on it so the first thing you want to do in here you want to require the collection that you've made in here so for this structure we're actually going to save it um the key will be the author's author's id or let's just say user ID and then the value for this collection value will be a array the first item is going to be timestamp and then the second item will be a reason okay so I will show you guys how to save that right in a minute so let's just require require so we need to go back to directory so we're just going to do slash dollar slash I'm going to go to collections and then I'm going to require the AFK in here perfect so in here the name I'm just gonna name it AFK, and then um, we can start with this. Okay, so first we're just gonna define a reason. So cons reason equals um arcs dot join. Either that's arcs, or else we're just gonna say um no reason. Okay, so next we can actually save the stuff right now. So we can just do AFK dot set. And then we're gonna set the message to alter the ID. Alter the ID, as you can see here. As you see here, the key is gonna be the ID, and then the value is gonna actually gonna be an array. So the first value is gonna be date dot now, which returns a number, the timestamp basically. And then the next one will be reason. We're gonna pass in the reason. Okay, and then we're just gonna do message, the reply. Um, you are now AFK. And then you can pass in the reason if you want. If you don't want, that's totally fine. For me, I'm just going to pass in the reason because why not? Alright, so that is done for the command. We can now move on to the event. So if you don't have an event handler, um, you can just do it in index.js. So you don't need to require a client. You can just use the normal client. So let me just show you in uh, an event handler first. Then I'll show you guys how to do it in index.js. Um... I'm just going to create a afk.js in here. Okay, same thing. We're going to require the um, 
EFK collection dot dot slash uh, collection collections and we're going to require EFK okay as usual for our event handlers we're actually going to require the client the const client equals require dot dot slash index dot js okay so client dot on message and then you can pass in the um, async message so I'm going to teach you guys how to do it in index.js as well so as you can see here you have defined client as new client the reason I'm doing uh, requiring the whole file because I already um, exported client in here so I can just require it it's gonna be the same client so to do this in your index.js simply just ignore this code you need this one okay make sure you got the paths right and then I'm um, just put this code whatever is in here just put it in a line above client login and you should be good to go so in here we're actually going to ignore two things if the message is not in a guild we're going to ignore it if the message is from a bot we're going to ignore it so you can do that by doing if message.guild or message.alter.bot we're just going to return okay and then um we're going to define a mentioned member because we're going to use it several times so let's just do cons mention member i can make it a past tense member equals to message dot mentions dot members the first okay so if mention member oops if mention member we're gonna uh, use a uh, curly brackets and then we're gonna do const data equals to afk dot get and we're gonna get the mentioned member id mentioned member dot id and then um if there is data we're gonna destructure the data as i told you uh just now um we're gonna destructure it by using array so you can just do const arrays equals data so the first one is gonna be timestamp as usual the second one will be reason okay so once you've done that we can actually just reply so we need to install a um as you can see i show you guys at the starting of the video we're going to use moment.js so to install this we simply need to do um npm i moment and then we can just install it like that to check if you installed it already just go to package.json okay if you see moment if you see moment in here means you installed it already so you don't need to reinstall it okay so for moment we're actually going to require moment up here because require moment okay and then we can actually format it um so let me just do const um time ago equals to moment and then we're going to pass in the timestamp and then we can do from now and then uh brackets because it's a function so that's time ago and then the reason is over there so we can just do um message dot reply um template literals mess mention member and then is is currently afk and then we can pass in a bracket okay for formatting purposes so it makes it a little better and then we can pass in the time ago that we defined earlier and then you're gonna do backslash n to skip to the next line and then we're just gonna do reason and then i'm gonna pass in the reason in here okay so let me just format the code a little bit okay and then yeah that should be it for the men member mentioned member so next we're going to check listen for if the um afk member comes back non-afk means he talked in the server and then we're just going to remove the afk status by doing this uh we can do this by doing um if um okay rather than doing that we can actually Okay, to check data, we're just going to define a variable called const get data equals to efk dot get and then message author the ID. Okay, and then um we're going to do if there is data, so if get data, and then um we're going to do afk dot delete message the author the ID. So we're going to delete the data, and then we're just going to do message dot reply um message the member afk has been removed 
Okay, so if the mention uh, the author is in the AFK collection, and if we talk something, we're just gonna remove the um AFK status because that's that makes sense. So yeah, let's just save this and then yeah, let's just test this out. So let's just run this bot first, and then I will make an amazing transition to Discord. All right, all right. So now I'm in Discord. So yeah, let's just test this command out. So to run this command, I'm just simply just gonna do AFK, and for the reason, I'm just gonna write, um, currently recording a YouTube video. Okay, and then it should say that I'm AFK. You are now AFK. Currently, one recording a YouTube video. So if I go to my alt account and I do, um, if I ping recon, it will say that recon is currently AFK. A few seconds ago and then we're currently recording a youtube video okay so currently the time is 10 10 so i'll come back around a few minutes later and let's just test this command again so rather than doing a few seconds ago it's just gonna it's gonna say like two minutes ago three minutes ago etc so yeah see you all right so a few minutes has passed so let's just retest this command again so as a recap i'm just gonna say that um, it's gonna change a few seconds ago to something like two minutes ago or three minutes ago. So yeah, let's just test this out. Recon. Oops, I almost did this in the wrong account. Let me just do recon, and it will say that um three minutes ago. So recon is currently AFK three minutes ago. Currently recording a YouTube video. So if I type something like this, like hello, and it will remove my AFK. Recon AFK has been removed. And then, um, if I go to my alt account again, if I ping my main account, nothing will happen because my AFK has been removed. So yeah, that should conclude today's video on the AFK non-database command. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, make sure, um, if you face any errors, feel free to join and support. So all the links will be in the description. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in our next video. Bye!